Hey guys, this is Man Shark Sub LPs. I'm Sub, this is Europa Universalis 4, and this is episode 51 of our Big Blue Blob playthrough of the Millennia in the Making game. We're France, we're not at war with anybody, it's a massive tragedy, um, and I've just realized that Falkmar here does not need to be improving relations with our vassal. They're already maxed. Yeah. Not bad. Um, places that do need a little bit of boosting though, we could help out Mauritania somewhat. Just, you know, get those relationships back up to where they should be. And... Yeah, I think we'll do the same with Turkestan in a moment. Um, yeah, you know, you were really just supporting them. There's something to do. And the fabricates are going on. Nice. All right, our ships are being built over here. That's perfect. These guys are damaging our damn colony a bit. It's not acceptable. So I'm going to split this army up and send some of them down there to guard it because I need that colony to happen. <coughs> Okay, ships are... Done. Gather up, lads. Thank you, Falkmar, for coming home. Now I'm going to send you to Turkestan. What sort of rebels do they have? Ugh, ones I really don't care about. Ah, da 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 da. Where are we? Not influence, it's um, relations. Relations. Damn woman had to have a kid, somehow. Abeneki, where the hell is that? Is that new? I oh, know. It's this one here. Ah, right. Good, we must have just had its discovery spread to us. We're in a federation of the Huron and the Fox, and allied with the Fox. Well then. Look, the British are having some issues with their peasants. That's funny. Good, good, good. Yeah, see what you get. And from there we'll be able to continue colonizing out this way and meet the Oirates from that side of things. Um, what's happening here? A little bit of a war here, huh? That's cool, that's cool. Can I integrate you little bastards yet? They need more, um... Oh, that's easy. I'm gonna give him a present. Oh, well. <laughs> you are a cheap date, Kamarupa. And I will integrate them even though that leaves, um... Sillet by itself. Just because I want to get him out of the way. Give us another diplomatic relation. Oh, Iroquois Patriots, huh? Deal with them. And we got our one against Susquanuck. We can't use that just yet. Um, when one of our dudes comes back, I wonder if we can actually fabricate a claim on that one first. We don't need it, but it'll help. Yeah, we can. Good do it. It does telegraph our action a bit if they find us, but whatever. I ain't caring. Oh yeah, Trinidad got finished, so these guys can actually, um... Uh, there's a lot of damn places in there. What are our colonists even doing? One in the Andamans and one in Cameroon. How are the Andamans going? Slowly. Very slowly. Also, we don't have an army there, so I don't want to start messing things up. Cameroon, though? No, Cameroon's down here. 
also slowly. But I'm gonna pull that guy out. Yeah, it's fine. It is absolutely fine. And then I'm gonna dump him into. Let's see. I'd like this nation to be colonial already, so. Ugh. We really need sort of just to get the coast there to join it up with this place. And then really sort of hammer out this stuff down here before they get into it. Alright. You guys head to that one, and we'll colonize that. There we go, we've got our cast spell against Kanata again. Get back to fabricating! Extension. I'm gonna wait until we've got enough of this one, because this Mysore is giving us nothing. Hey, how about it? Good work. Very nice. Let's lose an overextension all over the place. Come on, one more month. guy, you can go there and then back again. Does that place count as Indonesia? The Andamans? Come on. No, it doesn't. So it doesn't count as part of the Spice Islands for our purposes. Annoying, but well, whatever. We should really dump a small force on it, though, just to prevent uprisings from fucking it up. Only 500 dudes, so let's just make a quick force of, say, that. Uh, let's say eight. And then I'm going to give them two cavalry and two artillery. Bengal, stop getting attacked. No, in there. And then this guy, I wanted to. Um, this will piss off all of our vassals, but I want next this guy. And that's going to take no time. Yeah, six months. Like, wow, great, okay. Where are they fleeing? Down to Dhaka, let's follow them. Man, smashed. Alright, good -o. I'm not in the mood to do protectorates. I hope the kid dies somehow, just, you know. Man, I wish assassination was a thing. A vassal of the Oirate. Um, a vassal, uh, sorry, vassals feel safe, strength of our armies and generosity to their rights have made our vassals feel safe and protected under our umbrella. Uh, they've increased a tribute that they want to pay us, so for five years we get a uh, shepherd shears his sheep, he does not slay them. Plus 10% vassal income. That's cool, and now I've got a conquest cast spell against Abenaki. Doubly cool. Let's get that one integrated. <clears throat> so did we have a fleet? A transport fleet? We had 18 ships. That's not enough. 
Uh, it's enough to transport like those nine dudes around, but we don't want to transport those nine dudes around. I need two more ships. Two more transport ships, thank you. Ugh, really? Take me a year to get them. Good, good. So Mali is probably next on the war list, but I'm not going to actually attack them. What will probably happen is uh, Mauritania will. Demerara, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted because now I'm going to recall that guy and put him in that one. Send these guys down there. Velopod is one province away from joining all of this shit up. Yep, integration done. Thank you very much. So now we're at five of six diplomatic relations. Still bitching about our rivals, but it's not happening. Okay, so these guys I'm actually just going to wipe. Not important. That is... Um, Start trade company. Off you go, lads. Thank you. Amazing that you can't do that from a trade company screen. Which is that one. Nice. Bengal, you will be next. But, well, maybe not. Because Bengal, we've got to wait until 1598, which is eight years away. These guys we only have to wait until 1594. Fuck off. And before then we've got a whole bunch of wars to do. Like a whole bunch of wars. Um, hmm. Should probably fabricate some more claims. Fabricate some claims in Sean. Hey, Chin. Oh, right, yeah, because it's right the fuck there. When can we go back to war with these dudes? Two years. That'll be good because we'll try and get some stuff there. Try and get a land connection, that is. Oh, hey, but you know somebody that we can declare war on right the fuck now? These dudes. Give them a decent leader. Let's see if they flee. They are going to flee, so let's go up there and just ruin their fucking day. <coughs> Excuse me. Nah, we'll handle those rebels on the way. Ah, oh, looks like we don't need to. Like, actually go up there. Our guys got there first. Oh well. Jeez, come on, beat those guys. Thank you. God. That took longer than expected, which is, you know, what she said. I feel like I'm going to sneeze, so uh, apologies in one moment. And hopefully the mute worked. Whoa, that was weird. Malabar is a core, thank you very much. Still at 44% because it's all made up between these three guys. We need 160 to get this place, god damn. <laughs> Excuse me. I think it's six provinces, so one, two, three, four. We're going to have to just go 5 and 6. What we will do... Okay, we have merchants stealing and trade all over the world. Um, so we can either... Get 10 years of minus 10 power in either Bengal or Genoa, or lose 20 dip. 
Lose 20 dip, that's much easier to set, to take. Yeah, oh, excuse me. Hmm. So something I'm going to do is form... Excuse me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Form whatever nation is going to come out of colonial Canada and then start taking these provinces because then they'll automatically go to it and I won't have to worry about coring them and that sort of bullshit. Because that's just annoying to me right now. Particularly when I'm trying to do a whole bunch of other shit. Ah, Liwa, thank you. Um, start doing these places. Wait, wait, wait. Maswana. Is that one of the ones that need to be... No, it's Russia Doab. Good. Right, you guys need to come over here. Thank you. Dump them on this island here, and everybody will be happy. Really did not need this many dudes, but fuck it. I think we did. And then from there we'll start like moving dudes down here and all that sort of thing. And everyone will be happy. Get on the boat. Go over there, boats. Maharashtra went back into the military coalition. Okay. And we can improve our admin tech, but we're not going to because we need to call goddamn Rosh Adwab. And that's just going to take time. Let's have a look. We still can't do anything with Tibet, which is annoying. Can't do anything with a lot of places, actually. That's a capital in there, so we can't fabricate on that. We're already fabricating on Chin, anyway. Ah, uh, the Iroquois, perhaps? No? Are we already doing something there? Nope. Hmm. Oh, whatever. One thirty nine, one sixty, two hundred, twenty eight, one eighty, whatever. <coughs> Diviet and Zhao. Zhao's doing fine. Sean don't like us, that's fair enough. Lanna like us. That's because we released them in peace. But I don't think they can become. No, they'd have to be a protectorate. Because, you know, Chinese. Yeah, we've we've run out of places we can vassal, basically. We can force Kanada into it and, you know, force Maharashtra and Delhi and Afghanistan, but that's pretty much it. And Volga Bulgaria at some point. But yeah, it's, we've run out of um, westernized nations. Which is a shame. Because it's a fun way of doing things. Oh, we do have German patriots. They've already revolted. Let's help our good bros out. Still got a truce of Volga Bulgaria until about a year from now, but all of our truces are on the process of running out. Ah, military tech. Hmm. Do we want that or do we want to wait for the um military tech cost decrease? I think we're gonna wait for that one. I know we usually like to be ahead in military tech, but we are. So 
YOLO. Got all our claims on Sean. Just need to wait for that truce to run out, which will happen in about the same time as everybody else's does. Maharashtra, Afghanistan, Delhi, Bengal, don't care about it. Great Britain, ooh, we're about to eliminate them. And where are my... Okay, these guys got together, that's good. I needed them to come on over here. Yeah, it should be fine. And these guys, perfect. Um, come up to here. Because if we can take out the fox at the same time that we take out um, the Abeneki, that would be good. Oh, okay. Really? You think that's cool, Mauritania? Fuck. You. They just dump half my papal influence in there because I got no other use for it. Hello. Thank you. Pricks. Okay, good. That's together. Let's go put them in here. Thank you. Ah, perfect. This place is now self sustaining. I'm pretty sure we already got a claim there. Yep, very good. Where are our colonists? Our colonists are being utter rate shit, but I can take this guy out of this place now. Thank you. And I want to put him. First of all, I need to get these guys another fort in here. Jesus. Thanks. Now a totally zero power projection because bullshit. Let's send a guy there. No, we can't. So we'll send one here. Send these guys over there. Beautiful. And the other colonist is in this place. You know, you're not all that necessary there anymore. Recall you. Thank you. And then we're going to put him... I'm actually going to split this force in half, maybe? Yeah, half. Sounds good. Split them. Half of them up. Move them around to, say, Christmas Island, which is actually there. Go figure. And colonize them. Take them two years to get there, so we really do want to make sure that they uh, maintain it once they get there, but yeah, it'll be good. Oh, hey, we should be able to, um. Yep, done. And these guys are gonna be done. Beautiful, beautiful. And that one, perfect. <coughs> Almost wish we set our mission as, um, oh. I totally forgot that we were at war over here. I'm gonna just keep that army there, actually, because we are ending this. 12%. Nice and easy. Still gonna bitch about rivals. And that's only gonna cost us 45, which we'll have in a couple of months. Great Britain left the military coalition. I mean, it's about time, but why did you do that? Now they're going to be a minor war. Good, Onondaga is no longer there. Do I still have a claim on this place, or is it going to be... My claim expired after I took it, so now I've got to wait even goddamn longer. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four. Still converting one of those places. Let's, um. Oh, really? When my colonists finish moving around the place, we're gonna have to get them to go. 
back there and get that colony properly set up. Ah, very nice. Ah, good. Now some of those um, religious zeal modifiers have worn off. So now we can really start hammering through some conversions. Counter-Reformation is truly underway. And we haven't accepted it, but you know, whatever. Okay, boats, you can come back up to this place. And when our colonist gets there, there will be people ready to welcome him. And in the meantime, we just wait. <coughs> so, what we're going to do when these truces expire, assuming no changes, is we're declaring on Maharashtra. I think. Hmm. Wait one moment, I need to check this shit. Uh, we don't want to draw um, Kanada in just yet, because we do still have that province being converted by them. Two provinces, actually. So we're going to wait to declare war on the coalition. We're not doing that immediately. So we're probably going to be declaring war on uh, Great Britain. Or Afghanistan. Actually, should we declare war on Afghanistan? Then we're at war with Shagatai. We could get another inlet to the Oirats. Oh, we can't take Kashgar though because it's a capital. Fuck. That's irritating. We'll just hold off on it for the moment. Just for the moment. I really wanted to declare war on these guys though. So much. Uh, let's hit him with bureaucrat. Nope, we should have enough to start converting that other place. Kilwa, thank you. Yeah, we're really flatlining that admin power, but luckily our next ruler, um, Walpurgia Lottlefinger, is much better than our current one, particularly at admin. Yeah, we've got all these free diplomats, but not much to do with them, to be honest. Um, I mean, we've got fabricated claims in almost all these places. That's the capital down there, so we can't do anything there. Yeah, don't know what to say, guys. We're just going to have to wait. So we just lost a fuck ton of claims, which tells me that our um, truces just wore out. Let's just get that handled. So now we've got an additional military leader. Um, we can get him for free. We can't hire him yet because we need 50 military power. We could grab an explorer. And in fact, I think we might. Um, we could do a little bit of exploration up the Asian coast. Although... Instead of an explorer, maybe a conquistador would help out a bit better. Come around the cape. We could, um... Finally find these places. And no, we'll leave it open for the meantime, because a conquistador will cost us actual military power. Right. However, what we will do... Help out some of our bros in Turkestan. Oh. Do we not have an alliance guy? Ugh, they won't let us move through. That's fine. Whatever. Hmm. So we need to fabricate a few more claims. Mainly in Delhi. So 
so let's get to work on that. Still got the claim up there. Everything's good there. Shan, Kanada, all good, all good, all good. All right. Well, um. Look, Von Rockingham, you had a good run, but, well, I don't see an army. Just get it fucking done with. It is, oh, 14th of February as well, happy Valentine's Day. And of course, it is now the end of the episode, so we'll deal with that war when we come back. It's going to be very quick, very short. The only annoying thing is, is that it's going to cost us a bit of uh, overextension. I mean, not not overextension, admin power. But yeah, we'll deal with it when we come back. So that's been uh, the end of the episode. I've been sub. You've been yourselves. Later. <laughs>